Hello guys, the DB Grind here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have C Goody 17 with 1,191 rating versus Oh God Yes with 1,244 rating. So this is going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right into it. And then we are going to see Oh God Yes when the rock paper scissors shoot, so they get to decide if they want to go first or second. And looking at the deck counts, we can see 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. And then, oh god, yes, we'll decide to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Shadal Fusion, Meltdown, Wendy, El Shadal Fusion, and Terraforming. So, no going second cards. Well, I guess, like, this is, like, some level going second card. And then, you know, if they are playing mine, this will be a going second card. And then they have Valor, Cosmic, Foolish, Ash, and Fractal. So, this works. And then, we're going to go ahead and go Main Phase, Fractal Effect, Ditch Itself, Dump Kit. Kit send Nerval, and then Nerval, grab Kuraz from the deck to the hand. Normal summon out Kuraz, use that. Banishing 2, summon out Bear Bloom, and then turn those into Silver. Bear Bloom effect, go grab Revol, and then put back the Foolish Burial. And then set 2 pass, draw Nib. And then go main phase, activate Meltdown. They're going to chain Cosmic to that to banish it. And then activate Terraforming said mystic mind pass yeah it's it's so scary like i feel like you almost always have to like ash this but they're not doing that there go grab meltdown and activate should all fusion i mean it's obviously very good they didn't do that there because they had should all fusion and then activate El Shadal Fusion. It's going to get rid of Wendy and Nib. Then go ahead and summon out Construct. And then Construct and Wendy chain Valor. So they're only going to go ahead and set Beast from the deck. And then Link Away for Gravity. Construct, add back. And then Battle Phase, try to attack. But they're thinking at the end of Main Phase here. Yeah, so Battle Phase attack. Everything is known now. So they're just going to go ahead in Battle Phase and activate Revolt. Now summon them out and then slap them off the board to summon omen and then you're going to get the effects and then you're going to omen kit and nerval search banish and then send and then end the main phase silver effects summon out fractal end phase go back to hand pass turn draw desires and then this is a 100 percent game normal summon kit effect banish two and then that's going to summon out blossom omen effect to banish the beast and then get rid of those to go for access code and then get those effects. So go search ram. Well, you can't search ram ram because they only have two banished. But it doesn't matter because this is just already game. Little mistake there on their part though. Yeah. Now, going on to game two, we will go ahead and see the Shadal Invoked player decide to go first. Opening hand is Super Poly, Ash, Bell, Sanctum, Wendy. So. Even though this is like slow, this is this is definitely gonna work. And they have Tanky, Twin, Desires, Ash, and Alpha. And then just go ahead, set pass. And then they can't Alpha here. They're gonna go ahead and activate Tanky, searching from the deck to the hand a Fractal. And then Fractal effect, send itself to try to dump a level three or lower. And they're gonna chain Ash to that. And then using Desires, banishing ten. And then let's look at those real quick. So we see Kuraz, Rat, Nerval. So definitely nothing too bad there. Draw Foolish and Kit. And then Normal Summon Out Kit, get rid of it for Amirage. And then Kit Effect Dump. They could have Sanctum, but I guess they want to wait for like uh, Kuraz to bring itself out. Since obviously like they couldn't like use the effect to banish there with only one engraved for now. Wait till we get the link one. Just wait. It hasn't been revealed yet, but it's it's gotta come out. Trust. If it comes out, deck's gonna be insane. Summon out Kuraz and then activate Sanctum. Chain Ash Blossom. Yeah. And then use Kuraz. Banish four. Summon Omen. Omen effect. Banish one D. It's not looking good for the Shadow player here. Go ahead. Get poked. Main phase two. Go for Bear Bloom. Omen effect, grab Whiptail from the decks of the hand. And they can do it this time because they have four. And then Bear Bloom, discarding two, special summon back out Nerval. And then turn those into Silver. And then Bear Bloom, go grab Revolt. 
and then put back, and then set twin revolt. So they chose to like not keep going there. Because, like, they haven't used this effect this turn to summon. So, like, if they wanted to, they could have banished to summon out, like, Blossom. And then get rid of all those to summon out Appalooza. Because the only effect that stops you from special summoning Tri-Brigade is the search and put back. And then pass, draw Nadir's Servant. That's a, that's a solid draw. So go ahead, use Nadir's Servant. It's going to send App Cologne. Grab an Ecclesia from the decks of the hand, and then App Clone effect. Add Schism, and then go ahead and dump the Super Poly. Said, should win no matter what now, to be honest. Let's find out. Said, probably, to be honest. Summon Ecclesia, Ecclesia effect, grab Punishment from the decks of the hand. And then Battle Phase, not attacking directly, attacking the Amirage. And then use that effect on Silver. And then set some, but in main phase, yeah, they're going to go ahead and silver effect, summon out Whiptail, end phase gets bounced. Still end phase, revolt, chain bell, pass, draw desires, and then normal. So, I, I don't know, they I feel like they could have done this differently, like, Twin, because if you read this, you know, return to the hand during the end phase. A twin, pop, pop. But they're going to activate Schism, so they want to chain that, but then Punishment can out Whip Tail. Ab Cologne, go grab Wendy, and then set it. Like, the back row were known there. So why not, like, stand by phase twin? You know? And like, why not do that? I feel like they could have just played this way differently. Attack over, won't get destroyed, and then draw Alistair. Uh, it's not doing anything here, though. Uh, just adding Invocation, because they can't use the extra deck. Punishment, and then Flip Beast, draw Nadir, Servant, Ash. Boop. So moving on to game three. Pretty not bad. Yeah. <laughs> they said, uh... What was it? Should win here no matter what, to be honest. <laughs> Now, moving on to game three, the opening hand is Nadir's Servant, Lancia, Schism, Shadow Fusion, and Terraforming, so this is nice. And then they have Desires, Called by, Foolish, Rat, and Barrage, so their hand is also nice. Now they even have Called by for Lancia, and then Summon Rat Effect, Dump Ram Ram, then make Chalk and Nine, Chalk and Nine Effect, that will go ahead and summon back out the Ram Ram, and then summon Dryden. Dryden effect, pop, ram, 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 summon out Chalkanine, then slap Tiger Mortar on top of that effect, equip the Chalkanine, Chalkanine, bring out Dryden, uh, later on Barrage will be used to equip, and then get rid of those, it's going to summon out Blossom, and then activate Foolish Burial, that's going to dump Kit, Nerval, and then Nerval, go grab Fractal from the deck, and then Blossom, summon out the Fractal, on summon Lancia, and then Chain Called By. And then Fractal. Now we'll go ahead and banish four. Summoning out Omen. And then get rid of those two to go for Bear Bloom. And you're going to get Omen. Add Kuraz. Activate Barrage. Effect. Pop. And then go ahead and summon out Whiptail. Barrage effect. Equip the Dryden't. Said holy lol. I'm nice not going to lie. I see that. And then get rid of all those, go for Appalooza, and then you're going to get those effects. So draw Desires, put back Desires, add Revolt, and then go ahead and put back Kuraz, activating Desires, banish 10. And then you're going to look at those banishes. So we see a Kit gone, and a Nerval. And then they draw into Kuraz and Tanky. And then set revolt pass, draw should all fusion. So activate terraforming. And then that will go ahead and grab meltdown from the decks of the hand. And then activate should all fusion. You're gonna let that go through. Ah, it feels so bad to let that go through. Ah, uh, like it kind of just hurts. I don't know, maybe maybe you dry didn't pop Appalooza, but like even that hurts. Because, like, obviously, like, this wasn't someone from the extra deck. 
but they're going to go ahead and dump, bring out App Cologne, and then get those effects. Uh, App Cologne 1, Beast 2, Aerial 3. Yeah, yeah I didn't mean, yeah, I meant 1D. They're going to target Appalooza, chain link 4 Appalooza, and they get 1D. And then they're going to draw into Droll, and then that gets negated. Then on resolution, activate Revolt, and then that's going to summon back out some monsters. And then get rid of those to go ahead and make Omen. And then you can use those effects. Yeah, Bear Bloom 1, Nerval 2, Omen 3, Kit 4. And then go grab Fractal, and grab Revolt, and then put him back. And then obviously that gets banished from the Omen. Activate Nadir Servant, send Elder, grab Ecclesia, and then Elder Effect out. They could have like summoned this out too. Feel like summoning this over like Kit would have been better. Cause like this doesn't really do anything, you know? Like the, the dump almost just doesn't matter. It actually probably ends up like hurting you rather than like helping. But Omen Effect, go grab Kit. And then Ecclesia, it's gonna special summon itself out. And then Effect on Field, that'll go grab Knight from the decks of the hand. And then Battle Phase Attack, Dryden, Dryden Effect, out Ecclesia. Main Phase 2 Meltdown, it's gonna grab Alistair from the deck. And then Summon Alistair, use that. And then that will go ahead and grab Invocation. Uh, obviously, can't do it because like Dogmatica stuff. And then set, pass, draw twin. It's pretty good. Twin, out that stuff. Kit effect, dump Nerval. Nerval effect, add Fractal. So now they've gone through, should be all three Nerval. Yeah, so they banished one Nerval and one Kit. So all three Nerval gone, all three Kit gone, all three Fractal gone. So now they only have a Kuraz left in deck now. And then they're going to drop Draw and Lockbrood after they add off the Nerval. And then Normal Summon and use that. I'll go ahead and banish three. Or banish two and summon out the Double Dragon Lords. And then Battle Phase, just go ahead, beat over, and then attack directly. Yeah, 16. And then set Revolt Pass, draw Bell. Oh, that's nasty. I mean, they, they drew Twin. For the Schism, they drew Bell. For the Revolt, it's only fair. And then activate Invocation. It's going to banish Alistair and Ecclesia, summon out Makaba. And then Invocation, slap the Alistair back into the hand. And then normal summon out Alistair and use that. And then that's going to go grab Invocation. Imagine if this could, like, grab other stuff. Because I know, like, the, the link of Alistair can grab other stuff. I know it's not good, but... I don't know. It'd, it'd be cool to see. Activate Shadow Fusion. Go ahead and dump. And then bring out Construct. And then they're going to get Construct and Wendy there. And then set Ariel from the deck. Send El Shadow Fusion. And then on resolution, activate Double Dragon Lords uh, to try to bounce Construct. They're going to chain Macabo to negate and banish that. And then get rid of those. Go for Anaconda. They could have, uh, I guess it wouldn't even have been that good, but like they could have tried doing that prior. Like, should all fusion chain double dragon lords get rid of Appalooza to try to balance, and then like they're forced to let it go through. If they don't, then they can't fusion for free. But make Anaconda construct, add back El Shadal fusion, and then activate invocation, and then I'll go ahead and banish, summon out Egos, but I don't think that would have been like the right play to try to do that. Pop Fractal. And then Agos Effect, Banish Construct, gang some attack, and then Anaconda beat over, and then Agos Poke, and then Makaba Poke, and then El Shadal, and then, oh, they're just letting that go through. I you should have just chained that. I guess, uh, maybe they should have tried doing it in main phase, so that way they could silver summon back. Feel like they haven't gone through silver yet and now uh and now it just doesn't matter oh no ggs gotta hate to see it 
if we go if we go back to what they said hold up hold up let me find it real quick should win no matter what to be honest <laughs> but let's see, did they say anything else no so seeing how long the match was did feel kind of long yeah 47 minutes definitely not a super short match uh, both of these decks can definitely get to a grind especially this deck especially the shit all deck uh, this deck still isn't bad i've seen i've seen a lot of people talk about how they need to how people are like saying oh you should be playing three omen but i think the extra deck is absolutely perfect where it's at now oh uh, like with like just like how it is like it's a super standard extra deck um you know, i'm not gonna name everything off but it, it, it's very very standard i think that extra deck is like nice i think it's rather good i don't think you really need three omen like if you like blow through them then like, that's just on you but i i don't blow through them it's came up like I, it's definitely came up to where like another omen could do something but i think like the extra deck itself is like it's very good I, I think the other cards have came up more often have helped and have helped me win more games because of them like you definitely can't cut like anything else that's in there but with all that being said uh no i was supposed to talk about it at the beginning of the video i'm so stupid i was going to talk about at the beginning of the video how any money i make off my channel memberships or my tcg player affiliate link that I'm going to be using those and putting them into either giveaways or tourney prize support. Dang it, I was supposed to talk about that at the beginning of the video. Well, if you're watching now, then now you know. Uh, I might end up bringing it up again in the video tomorrow at the beginning just because like, I forgot to do it again two videos in a row. But yeah, I feel like the money I make off my TCG player affiliate links or my channel memberships, I should just be putting back into the channel. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. So expect to see more giveaways and everything. But with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.